Last night at the station, you told the officer your car transformed. Here's what I said, that my car had been stolen, but it's fine now because it's back. It came back. So what do you kids know about aliens, huh? Transformers is a blockbuster action comedy based off the popular action figures and 80s cartoon series. Directed by Michael Bay of Armageddon and Pearl Harbor, the film centers around two groups of alien robots that come to Earth and can transform into familiar vehicles and other machines. Hey, gentlemen, I want to introduce you to my friend, Optimus Prime. One group is the evil Decepticons, who want to destroy and enslave humans, and the second is the benevolent Autobots, led by Optimus Prime, who have come to protect Earth from the Decepticons. The first part of the movie deals with various human characters discovering the presence of the Transformers. The lead is Shia LaBeouf's character, Sam Witwicky, a nerdy high schooler who purchases his first car and discovers that it is one of these aliens, an Autobot known as Bumblebee. LaBeouf is a likable actor whose natural charisma and comedic timing help carry the film. While his plotline is entertaining, the movie falters when focusing on the other subplots featuring an ensemble cast of largely cliched human characters, such as that of a Navy SEAL played by Josh Duhamel and a pair of hackers played by Rachel Taylor and Anthony Anderson. Since the movie is called Transformers, instead of developing these largely unnecessary human subplots, much more time should have been given to developing and distinguishing the personalities of the Autobots. Aside from leader Optimus Prime and LaBeouf's guardian Bumblebee, the other Autobots have few lines of character development and are hard to tell apart after they're introduced. The movie makes a point not to take itself too seriously, which is a good decision in a movie dealing with giant talking robots. Even in the most action-packed and intense situations, characters take time to crack jokes. And in general, most of the humor works and helps make the movie light and fun. What did I get you for? Um, I bought a car. Turned out to be an alien robot. Who knew? The only downside is that there are a few scenes that are a little too wacky and sitcom-esque in the middle of the movie. I don't have a credit card! Sir, the attitude is not going to speed things up any bit at all. Still, the main focus of the movie, and what propels it to pure entertainment status, is the absolutely amazing special effects, some of the best in recent memory. All of the CGI Transformers themselves look flawless, and their transformations between vehicle and robot look great, with a lot of detail put into each one. The movie didn't skimp out on any special effects, and all the battle scenes are well executed and exciting, especially the Battle Royale climax. All in all, despite a thin plot and poorly distributed character development, People who come see this movie come in expecting great action sequences and amazing spectacles of giant robots fighting. And this movie delivers in spades. The action, effects, and humorous nature of much of the film make it perfectly fulfill its role as light summer fun and entertainment. For Daily Bruin TV, I'm Josh Winger.